Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to a PES 2022 update. Finally, something has dropped, something for us to get a hold of and to access and to see how the game is. And oh dear, this isn't looking good. Before we get started on this video, if you're not already subscribed to Welcome to Gaming, then please do consider it. You'll get all your PES updates right here, as well as lots of other sports video games. So, I was going to sleep last night and I got a tweet through telling me all about this new football game from Konami. Weirdly enough, listed on the PlayStation Store as new football game performance test or something like that unannounced just plonked onto the store and before we even discuss how the game plays how the performance test looks how it operates let's just discuss konami's complete lack of confidence behind this game because that's what it reeks of to me so you've got this reset coming on your classic series of football games we're swapping over to the unreal engine you've had two years to develop the game and a lot of us have been sat around thinking where are the updates? I did a video on this game saying, where are the updates? Why aren't we hearing anything? And to me, this just reeks of Konami not having confidence in the product. Just unannounced, dropped onto the store. No big announcements. Apparently something is coming later down the line, Ju July 21st, I think. There's gonna be some other announcement. Uh, probably more of a full demo. But why are they, why are they doing this this way? eFootball is the official game of Euro 2020 and I haven't seen a single advertisement for the series, a single advertisement for Konami during the competition. It would have been a perfect time for them to launch something during the competition, get it advertised in a prime spot, but no. And to be honest, it's probably a good thing that they haven't judging by what we've got. So let's get into the performance test itself. I play the game with each team uh, to test out how the game is, what little differences we can notice. And uh, I have to say, ultimately, I think I'm disappointed. First things first, I'm playing on a PS4. I haven't got a PS5 yet, I can't afford one, and you can't get one anyway here in the UK. So the graphics are probably not gonna look as good as they would do on a PS5, but even so, why does it look so bad? Now I understand this isn't the finished product and it's probably going to have a little bit more polish anyway when the full release comes out, whenever that may be. But why does it look so bad? The textures are so low res. I mean, I've been playing eFootball PES 2021 and that's on the PS4 and that looks decent. So why does this look so bad? Players, the kits, the pitch even. Even the advertising boards look so low res. The lighting's really bad as well. I mean, look at the players. They've got like this dark shadow across their face. Now, I've been told the PS5 version looks more like uh, what we've been used to with PES 2021. So maybe they've just taken liberties with the older consoles. We should also state that it's supposed to be sort of a stress test for their servers or something. Now, I don't quite understand if they're changing their method of matchmaking because for years it was peer-to-peer -peer and I don't know if this is, it looks like it's going to be like server-based. Uh, I never had any issues across the four matches. There was only one match that had a couple of moments where games kind of lagged a little bit, but other than that, everything was like really good and I got games really quickly. And I know a lot of people are going to defend it by saying, you know, it's not the full version, it's just to stress test the servers and whatnot. But this is the first thing that Konami have put out to show us of this game. This is the first impression that they are making. And for me, it's just not a good first impression. Now you've got to remember, I've been saying that we should expect a demo in August. So, you know, this is the first gameplay that we've got and we're at the end of June, fair enough. But... Are they going to make that vast improvements in that short space of time to turn this around? When will the game actually launch? Now a lot of the buttons have changed as well according to this uh, performance test. For instance, you hold X now to apply pressure in the defence and it seems very automatic. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to swap player 
previously you would use the right analog stick to swap cursor in the direction you wanted. I couldn't seem to get this to work. Triangle no longer applies a secondary press. It now just does like a default mini tackle. I had to swap the buttons around as well to get dash back to R1. For some reason it was defaulted to R2, which is just weird to me. There's little things like power shots and finesse shots are now both on the R2 or R1 as it's defaulted to, uh, the special modifier, with you having to hold it down fully to do a power shot and I think halfway to do a finesse shot. This seems overly complicated to me. Now I've seen a lot of the community also not very happy with this launch and uh, a lot of comments coming in about the, the skill gap being closed once again. I've seen people saying that it's basically PES Mobile consoles. Uh, of course the Unreal Engine has been used for PES Mobile for years so might be some legitimacy to that. It's also very bare bones. Now, as I've said, it's a performance test or whatever they've noted it as, a demo, a performance test, a bit, or whatever you want to call it. And it isn't going to be the finished product, but it is so bare bones. How can it be so bare bones after two years of development? I don't understand. I mean, one thing I do like about the menu is the little world map. When you hover over the one of the four clubs, I'd like that to stay in the main game. I think that was a pretty cool thing. Everything else is just so bare bones, the tactics changes, the the menus and everything. It's just like, there's just nothing there. I also thought it was weird that you could like load into the game and it was an empty stadium. At first I thought, well, you know, they, they haven't done the crowd animations and they're just going to pass it over as uh, COVID crowds. But then you can hear the crowds chanting, but there's no one in the crowd. It's very strange. Obviously, that's one detail that, you know, that they obviously haven't fully finished. Now, there are some positives for me. I will let you in on some positives that I picked up from the gameplay. Firstly, I'd like to say that it seems like dribbling is back in the game. The past two installments pretty much were just pass, pass, pass. You couldn't dribble around anyone unless you absolutely nailed the trick stick and uh, like the fast players couldn't really get round players and it just took that aspect of football out of the series and I'm happy to report that it seems like dribbling past people is back on many occasions where I was getting round men with likes of Messi or Fatty and this is exciting to me because as well as having a passing game I do like to occasionally shift pace and get round people and it does create opportunities the other positive that I'd like to mention about the gameplay is that the physics of PES 2020 and 2021 didn't seem to be in this performance test. And when I say that, I mean the fact that you weren't stumbling over players and the ball wasn't like getting trapped between like four men and ping-ponging around, pinballing around uh, in the box and things like that. And that seemed to be not there. But overall, guys, and this is just a quick video because I've got to absorb this a bit more and hopefully like i say there's going to be more uh, demos to come uh, announcement on july 21st i think it was so hopefully that's going to be uh, a proper demo coming uh, with some improve or a lot of improvements we need some improvements here for this to to be anything of worth it does feel like konami just aren't arsed with this franchise anymore like i said for it to be the first piece of gameplay that they show us it is really bad they should have done this as a closed beta. They should have let a select number of people try this, give their feedback and react. But they put it out, they didn't announce it. It was all really, really weird. Konami are being weird about this game. And I am worried, I am very, very worried for the future of Pro Evolution Soccer. Or is it even gonna be called that because this is listed as new football game or something. That does lead me to think that it isn't gonna be called Pro Evolution Soccer anymore. Is it just going to be called eFootball? So what do you guys think of this uh, performance test for PES 2022 that launched today or yesterday? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to hear more thoughts from me on this game, I will be streaming it on Twitch. Twitch link is in the description. But yeah, for right now, I am not hopeful for this series going forward.